It's Legendary Beats. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So yesterday, I post started trending on social media uh, about this uh, Deeper Life Bible Church couple whose wedding was cancelled in Bayelsa State, Nigeria. Apparently, the church cancelled their wedding after the couple confessed the couple basically confessed to having sexual intercourse on their way to the groom's father's um, place where they went to get the groom's father's consent for the wedding. Uh, they lodged in the hotel and they stayed in the same room. So, so obviously they had sexual intercourse. So when I first heard the story, naturally I was pissed off because I understand what it takes to plan and execute a wedding. No be joke. At first I thought, oh my God, this is so insensitive. That is so strict. I mean, I understand the Palife is a very, very strict church when it comes to this. They don't play. But I thought, you know what, it's just the one time. But then I found out that they had done it before and they had been forgiven before. For them to actually cancel this thing, it was because they had done it before and they had been forgiven. They had gone through the procedure of trying to make amends and then go back to the planning, to the wedding. And then they did it again. So my mind is not like, do they really want to get married? Because how are they having sex, which, by the way, breaks the law of their church, and then going on to confess to what they had done? Or maybe these two just don't want to get married. Maybe... They're just trying to call off the wedding and they want the church to do it for them, you know, because the first time you did it, you apologized, they made you go through a process and then you were forgiven. And then you went back and did it again, which means you obviously did not learn from your lesson. And I understand, I mean, we're all humans after all. We have feelings sometimes, and especially if you guys are about to get married, you guys are in a relationship and there's chemistry or whatever, there's a way their body will brush over you and you'll just like them I want him you know so like I get it but at the same time you still have to exercise discipline self-control and above all respect for your church if what they want is for you to obey their laws and not have any kind of physical relationship with someone that you're about to marry to you just have to respect them this is what they want this is what they have always practiced since time in memoria they're not going to change it for you they are going to react when you break their rules. So just respect yourself. Besides, the time is coming where having this physical relationship with your partner is all you're going to know morning, noon, and night until you actually grow tired of it. So what is waiting one more week or one more month or however long that you have to wait because you know that sooner or later, all of those feelings that you have, you're going to be able to express them physically with your partner. Why are you in a hurry? You know, why are you in a hurry? I don't get that. Um, for those of you who don't know this, Deeper Life Bible Church is very, very big. It's super big when it comes to the issue of fornication before marriage. They frown on it. They don't want it. They don't allow it. They don't like it. And even I know this because um, because growing up in Nigeria, we had some neighbors who were members of the Deeper Life Bible Church. You know, they were very, very strict, especially when it comes to sexual behaviors. You know, sex before marriage was definitely not allowed. You know, so that is the one thing that I know for sure that Deeper Life is, they don't allow that, uh-uh. But apparently, Brother Israel and Sister Jemima, and that's actually their name, Brother Israel and Sister Jemima, um, they I guess they were tempted. I don't know what happened. But both of them have been dedicated members of the Palai Bible Church. And they were very active. So they know the rules. They know the law. They know what's supposed to happen. If they should break the law regarding the Palai Bible Church belief concerning sexual relationship before marriage. And their wedding ceremony was supposed to take place last Saturday on the 8th of June, but it was suspended. And um, Deeper Light Bible Church later released a statement regarding the decision to cancel the wedding ceremony. In the statement they wrote, the church has a marriage committee that supervises marriage right from knowing the will of God to obtaining parents' consent, marriage registration to the church wedding. When the intending couples were told to go to Brass Region in Bayelsa State to obtain the man's parents' consent, they spent several days together before coming back to Yenogoa. They slept on the same bed and engaged in moral acts which amounted to sin and against the marriage process of the church. 
They felt what they had done was bad and reported themselves to the pastors. They were subsequently placed on discipline by the state overseer after some period reporting that they had repented. The courtship was allowed to commence again. As preparation for the wedding was ongoing, it was discovered that they had again engaged in the act contrary to the laid down procedure by the marriage committee of the church. This is after they had been disciplined earlier and warned not to engage in the act that will impact negatively on their proposed marriage. When the marriage committee put a direct question to them based on the latest development, the man accepted their error. It was important to note here that the church stand on holiness and members have been consistently admonished to abstain from all appearance of evil. It is also not true that the parents pleaded with the pastor to wed them on the 8th of June, 2019. The summary is that they behaved themselves unseemly and were in haste to enjoy the benefit the church and God allows only married couples to enjoy. So there you have it, guys. They lay down the law. Like I said, deeper life does not play when it comes to these issues. They are always so strict regarding this. And it's not just the Palai Bible Church. There are some Protestant churches that really, really do not like this, that frown on this. Catholic Church will not wed you if they know that you're pregnant. There are some Protestant churches that makes you take, as a bride-to-be, they make you take a pregnancy test to make sure that, one, you are not just rushing to get married because you had gotten pregnant, and two, to make sure that you as a believer, you as a member of their church, you are abiding by the church principle. So they make you take pregnancy tests to ensure. A friend of mine got married a couple of years ago, and she's a Protestant. They made her take a pregnancy test to make sure that she wasn't pregnant before getting married because churches want to make sure these things. Some churches make you do genotype tests. Some churches make you do HIV tests. You know, there's so many things that churches make you do just to make sure that, you know, for one, to make sure that you're going into this thing for the right reasons. And I can't even be mad at that because there are some people who, once they become pregnant, they become obligated to get married. So that is what a lot of these churches are trying to guard against. And then I was also thinking maybe the couple were testing each other out, you know, to see how sexually compatible they are with each other. Because let's be honest, in this day and age, it's very important to know if you're sexually compatible with someone. That is why a lot of people have wandering eyes, you know, even though they have mates at home, even though they have spouses at home, their eyes won't stop looking out outside because they marry someone that they were not sexually compatible with especially if you've had the experience you know you've had lovers in the past and you know how those lovers made you feel and all of a sudden you're now with this person who's supposed to be a christian because and then it's even worse if your partner is like very very conservative when it comes to sex so that's a whole different ball game but the thing is that deeper life does not want to hear any of that they want you to pick a mate marry him or her and then live with the consequences of the choices that you you made if you like begin to starve now you sabi it is your choice it is what you chose for yourself i guess this couple was just following the advice of that deeper life lady who recently went viral after she announced that her husband has a two inches penis i don't even know how that is possible you know a full grown man with a two inches i don't know anyways she was advising people you know telling women to make sure that they have at least one experience with the man that they're supposed to get married to because she on her own she's very miserable she's very unhappy in her marriage because obviously she's not being satisfied so she wants every woman even if you're a deeper life member or not that you should have that experience to see if your man if the man that you're going to marry can satisfy you in bed otherwise don't do it she said you know that one came out advising everyone advising women who are about to get married that they should make sure that they have that one, at least one experience with the man just to know if they if it's going to be um just to know if it's going to satisfy them but anyways as for brother israel and sister jemima at the very least now they know if they are compatible with each other or not at least now they have their answers. The thing now is whether or not the pastor or the church will allow them to marry because of what they have done. Because obviously this sends a message to other people, potential couples, 
who may want to try the same nonsense. You know, they have to take a stand. They have to make an example of someone. And I'm not even mad at them because this is your church. You know, every church has its doctrine. You either follow the law, you either follow the rule or keep it moving or change church. Simple as ABC. This is what they have always believed in. This has been a long-standing tradition. This has been something that they have constantly frowned upon. Like I said, I grew up with a lot of Deeper Light members, you know, so I know they don't play with something like this. If they let these two go on and get married without consequences, they know that eventually other people are going to want to start doing the same thing and before you know what is going on, this tradition will just kind of evaporate. So they are trying to protect themselves and protect their beliefs and protect their doctrines. So I can't even be mad at that. But yeah, like I was saying, at least now, but uh, Israel and Sister Jemima now know for sure if they can go ahead. So maybe they can just manage and stay without doing the do. Maybe they can apologize to the church and if the church agrees to marry them, if they can just be patient and wait, they're going to have the rest of their lives to basically frolic however they want. But just be patient for a few more weeks, you know? Anyways, this is what I'm going to end with you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that what the church did was okay? Or do you think the church is too strict that they should cut them some slack? They should marry them? You know, salvation is personal. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see my next one. Ciao, guys. Where we call Niger. Everything we want, we got. South of Niger.